Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, we're going to talk about that in this video. Um, probably in my next commenting on comments or whatever. Uh, but today I have a, a quick tutorial, hopefully it's quick, uh, on how to install and set up uh, the Mi6 bot for your public Discord server. So in my opinion, as I've said in the title, the Mi6 bot is you know, probably the, the best or the most useful um, uh, Discord bot for if you're running a public Discord server. So maybe if you're a YouTuber or a streamer, or even if you're just you know making a a, dis a Discord server that's private just for your friends, um, the Me6 bot is can, can still uh, be useful because it's a really it's a general bot that's you know used for like uh, custom commands. You know, announce Twitch when you're live on Twitch when you upload a video. So, uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna get into into great detail on how uh, on the features of Me6. If you want another video like that in the future, where I actually show you guys all the features of Me6, um, then you know, leave it in the comments or and leave a like. I might do it in the future. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to install. So obviously, as as I said before, Me6 is a lot. You know, it's really meant for if you're public, if you're a YouTuber, streamer, whatever. So you wanna go to Me6. It's just uh, M E E six dot X Y Z or X Y Z whatever. And you have to make sure you're actually signed into your discord account online on on this website you can do it here and then once you're signed into your correct one you just click add to discord and oh, obviously you have to make sure that you're you're an admin on your own discord server so on roles if you have well if, if you made the server you'll be automatically admin so yeah and then you click the server i'm just gonna do, choose my tutorial server that is right here tutorial server and i apologize my wi-fi is really slow today i have no idea why so uh, this will pop up after you click it and it might be scared that it needs a lot of these things but that's kind of a good thing because it's sh well that's how many features it has There's a lot of features it can do all of this stuff so yeah, make sure uh, you choose the right server make sure you click everything and you just click authorize so and there we go once you uh, once that's done you're pretty much done that's all it is so I could end the tutorial here but uh, I'm gonna do some you know finishing touches so again if you want a video where I kind of show you uh, how to you know make a decent looking discord server uh, and how to start one how to make one how to manage one and the bots i recommend you leave a comment if you want a type of video like that in the future um but for now this is just how to install a me sticks so the first thing i recommend is you kind of want to make roles for your server so you go to server settings and roles as you can see i already have uh, already have some from uh previous tutorials master is just you know this is just the role that you you might give yourself or you know, a co-owner this is the admin role so as you can see administrators check and for most servers the the second highest role that actually for most servers for all servers that are public the second highest role the only the only one under admin uh should be the bots role because the bots role uh you would put any bot that you in uh you know install like me six or like rhythm bot you then they all need administrator and it might be scary uh to give a role that has admin because what if your mods you know you have an untrustworthy mod or, or someone who's under mod that you know they can give themselves roles so you have to make sure that the bots is you know the the second to the highest role so just so that any role under the bots they can't give themselves the bots role so they can't give themselves administrator so yeah that's pretty much it so make a bots role admin make sure it's the only the second highest one because uh, bots need admin you don't want other people giving stuff admin uh, admin and then what i'm gonna do is right click on me six roles and give it to the bots role that's pretty much it it's all, it's all done it's all installed what you want to do is probably bookmark this page right here uh or memorize it or copy the link but i recommend just bookmarking it saving it i'm just gonna remove it because i already have one my other uh dashboard and this is your your main me six dashboard where you, you can uh customize all the features all the commands um, there's a lot of great features of me six again if you guys want me to go over them individually and you know show you all the great things that me six can do uh, leave a comment and i might do a video like that in the future definitely so uh, cu has custom commands let's go through them quickly custom commands are basically um as you can see, I've already done this before. I already have some custom commands. You just add one, and the command name is you can do at rules or FAQ or, or anything really. You can just say a test. We'll just do a test one. And if you every time you type in exclamation point test on the server, it will uh, respond with or it will automatically type in whatever you want here. So this is a test. So I'm just going to save this. And so now if I go to general and type in test, boom, there we go. Me6 responded with this is a test. 
So this is really great for if, if someone is asking for all the rules, you don't want to like type it all out or you, or you don't want to refer them something, you just type in. As you can see, I already have rules there. So I'm just, I just do rules. And it me six will respond with obviously all the rules or whatever you put in the box. That is probably my favorite feature of me six, but there's so many other great ones. Reddit is cool. It basically, if you, if you look on my server, it, it, you can choose any uh, text file and it automatically uploads, you know, the post of any certain subreddit you want into your Discord server, which is great. Um, you can uh, get no you can notify your server when you go live on Twitch or when you post a video timers are it's uh, Pretty cool with the basically at a given time interval the bot will say any message So you can do like remember to subscribe if I can spell right remember to sub to my channel at everyone and Then you can have the bot respond, you know every one minute 30 minutes hour uh, So yeah, that's another great feature that I don't really use but you know, that's really useful and uh, another one is a welcome message, like whenever, whenever someone, you know, whenever a new person joins the server, um, it, will, it will give them like a message. And a moderator ones, this is cool, it can auto uh, auto ban, auto kick people who do certain things. Just the Me6 bot, as you can, guys can tell, it's the probably the best bot if you're like a content creator or like an influencer, I hate using that word. But you know, someone like in, in a public, you know, who has a public Discord server. Uh, level is also really cool too. It's a it gives you can you can give roll rewards when someone or when people talk and chat a lot and they get XP and stuff like that. So yeah, again, uh, if you want me to do a, a more in depth um, review or an overview of Me6, leave in the comments. I'll be happy to do it. But for now, this is how to install it onto a Discord server. It's very easy, and this was not a quick tutorial. I'm sorry, but I kind of wanted to show a little bit of what it has to offer and go in depth. So, well, not in depth, but you know, just a, an, a little overview of Me6. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, this helped you out. And uh, uh, also, I'm opening my, my, my Discord server. Is I have a uh, what is it? Support channel on my Discord server. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns about any of my tutorials. Just, you know, you can quick pop by on my server quickly. You don't have to stay and just ask me in the support channel. Make sure you at my name. So we do at Justin DiOrio and I'll, I will probably respond 100% of the time. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.